So I had a lot of comments and DMs about um, my reel where it showed my husband and I eating raw liver. Um, so I thought it just made sense to make a video and address all of the comments and different messages I got here to answer everyone's questions. Um, so a lot of the comments that I got were like, I can't believe you did that. I want to do that too, but I'm scared it's going to be gross. And you know, a few years ago, if you told me I was going to be eating raw liver, I would have told you that you're nuts. You know, I grew up eating a standard, you know, traditional American diet and organ meats and, you know, <clears throat> eating in like nose to tail is just not something that was in my, in my world at all. Um, so I do think that it's important, you know, as we're on our healing journey to be open-minded and think about the, you know, the value of those nutrients and the value of those foods and try to find ways to incorporate them into your life. So I will say about beef liver, I did get it and just cook it with like onions in a pan and we tried to eat it that way and I was like not a fan. So then I gave it up. A couple months went by, did it try it again. Then I saw a recipe for liver pate and I was like, all right, I'm gonna give this a go. Made the pate, added it to a ground beef recipe, so good so good. So that's what we did with that for a few months. Um, then I found that, you know, beef liver supplements are what work best for me because I'm not including the pate in my beef enough throughout the week that I felt like I was getting enough. So I did start using a beef liver supplement. Um, but then I was like, well, you know, what if we even just eat it raw and, um, you know, try it that way. So my husband and I did it and, you know, I'm not like gnawing on it in my mouth. I just kind of like put it in and swallow. Um, and I do it in two little pieces that are each half of, no, a quarter of an ounce. So it's a total half ounce. And, you know, we do that throughout the day and it's totally fine. It doesn't gross me out. It's quick. I drink it with like raw milk or a little like adrenal cocktail or something. And I don't even taste it. But I think it's important that, you know, as we embark on these healing journeys, that we become more open to these types of foods. And I think as we get, you know, a better metabolic, you know, health profile, I think as our minerals become restored, we're more open to these things. And we're not so defensive and set in our ways and we're more willing to explore. I know personally, like my minerals have come a long way and I'm way more open to things now not even just from a food standpoint, but like an emotional standpoint, being reflective of myself standpoint. And this, you know, goes for all areas of the new, you know, way I live, the new things I eat. Um, I have like a video of me in California with my friends and I was trying to eat a raw oyster and I was literally almost vomiting. Like I was dry heaving in the restaurant. That's how grossed out I was by it. And then a few years later, I tried it again in Florida with my husband on vacation. Still wasn't for me, but now I love them. And um, same thing with clams. You know, my family grew up eating clams. I would never eat them. And then I got to this point where I was just like, you know what, these are really nutrient dense. I wanna try to include them. And then I tried it and I was like, these are delicious actually. Um, so I think when we're open to trying new things and we don't just like dead it from the start, um, we can realize that there's many ways to prepare and eat these things and you know at the end of the day it's about getting the most bang for your buck with your food what foods are going to do that foods like beef liver oysters and other shellfish um <clears throat> organ meat other organ meats traditional things that like we don't always consume because you know as a society we don't eat nose to tail anymore um another comment i got was what is the best beef liver supplement I personally like perfect supplements. They have an organs blend, or you could get the traditional beef liver supplement. Um, I just think they're, you know, very reasonably priced and high quality, grass fed, you know, nothing else added to it. Another question that I got is, what is the difference between the different types of livers and the nutrients between them? So like, is beef liver better than chicken liver or is pork liver better than beef liver and it honestly really depends and in an ideal world you would you know include a little bit of all of them so perhaps you would do a rotation and eat different ones because pork and chicken liver have higher amounts of like selenium and vitamin c but beef liver like takes the cake for like um 
you know, B12, copper, B6, um, iron. So, you know, it really depends. I think if you're in the initial stages of introducing liver to your life, just focus on getting beef liver in your life. Um, and then, you know, once you figure out if you like it raw or you like it cooked or you're going to take a supplement, then you could play around and, you know, try to find, you know, different types of liver or incorporate pork or chicken liver into your diet as well. Um, but if you're starting out, I would just recommend beef liver. Um, and there's a lot of ways to make it. So it's really good. Um, and like I said, the raw liver, when you take it, doesn't taste like anything. You don't have to chew it. I literally just swallow it. Um, but I'm getting all of the nutrients and at the end of the day, it ends up being cheaper than a supplement.